Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. If you're not new, welcome on back. Let's go ahead and get right into today's video, okay? All right, y'all. So first things first, on the menu, all right? It seems like Lotto is out here allegedly, all right? You know, this could be a diss. It could not be a diss. But people feel like she's dissing Ice Spice, all right? As you all know, um, Lotto and Ice Spice, they're not cool. They're not on good terms. Um, you know, you should know why. If you don't know why, I, it's a long, it's a, it's a lot, it's a lot. Okay, so, um, as you want to know, Ice Spice has a song called Munch, all right? And then, and the Lotto and Offset song, Lotto says that in a munch, your booking fee, I ate it for lunch, okay? Now, in my opinion, I'm not going to lie to you, okay? At first, I was like, you know, where is the diss part at? But I'm thinking maybe she's saying like, oh, Ice Spice's booking fees are cheap, um, you know, Ice Spice's booking fees, you know, ain't really hitting on what Lotto's booking fees hitting on. So it's, you know, she's a cheap girl, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, it could be taken as that. But I do think that um, she could have, you know, just left this out. She could have just left it out because she knew, okay, she knew what she was doing when she was doing this. All right. Um, I think she understands this because, you know, um, Ice Spice, she has a song lyric that says, where she at on the floor. Okay. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's real catty right now. It's real catty, but okay, I will respect them for putting it in the songs. You know, I will respect it for putting it in your music, you know, put it in your music. I get it, I get it, I get it. But I don't know. I think that honestly, Lotto needs to just sit this out. And um, that's just my opinion on that. Let me know your opinion down below. Let's move on to this next topic. Oh, wow. Moving on, y'all. It seems like people did not know that Sexy Red was a B-L-O-O-D member, okay? Um, they had no idea that she was actually, you know, in that group, okay? And, you know, <laughs> now, in my opinion, um, why are y'all shocked? Why are y'all shocked? This lady literally has red hair, red shirts, red pants, red shoes, red socks, red, red, red everything, red accessories, red eyelashes, red nails, okay? Red everything and y'all thought she was just wearing it because it's her favorite color and she literally be throwing up the signs so i did not know i i always knew this I, I thought this was common sense you know i always thought that we knew she was one of them and i think the reason why y'all didn't catch on is because y'all are so used to all these fake gimmicks and all these fake artists doing a lot of different things for you know just attention and views and stuff so when you see people when you see somebody like sexy red who's actually like about that lifestyle you don't really think it's true because you're so used to all these gimmicky artists and these gimmicky lifestyles, okay? Nah, Sexy Red is about it. And you can just tell by the way she act. But I don't know why y'all shocked. I'm, I don't know why y'all are shocked, okay? Um, if you already knew this, let me know your opinion down below. And if you did not know this, um, okay, comment, I guess you can say something too. But hey, um, let's move on to this next topic. All right, all right, all right, y'all. Today is October 13th, a.k.a. A Pink Friday, all right? And that means that Nicki Minaj has some new surprises out, okay? Um, as you all know, there was some other, like, you know, it was it was a poll going around that she asked the fans what they want, you know, cool, cool, cool. Then Nicki, then Nicki Minaj, she then got on live and she teased some few songs, aka Big Barbie, all right? And in my opinion, I don't like Big Barbie. I don't like this song. I don't like it at all, especially for where Nicki Minaj is now in her career. It's like her releasing a song that just uh, she's in a different different space right now in her career and her releasing big barbie would just not match her like her mind now or her aesthetic now it just i don't know maybe five years ago that would have been the great timing but nah i don't think that you know big barbie would be good right now you can go listen to the snippet and you can tell me what you think but that's just my opinion on that now she did release a scrapped verse on her actual official website okay and it's called bam bam out now on the website it's not on any streaming flat platforms okay it's a scrapped song all right um now this scrapped song it should have been on the album this scrap song, Bam Bam, should have been on the motherfucking album. It should have been on there, okay? What, what were we thinking? Okay, I loved it. This song, it, it, it's new. I, I don't really hear anybody with this type of vibe like that. Um, it's just it's just different. It's really different. Um, and I do think that this album is going to be amazing. If this is what the scrap songs sound like, imagine what the actual album is going to sound like. That is, that, 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 that is my opinion on that, okay? Um, let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. Are you all ready for this album? How do you feel about this new snippet? And what do you feel about um, Big Barbie? Um, me personally, I'm not the biggest, biggest fan of Big Barbie. I mean, if it's playing, I'm not going to be like, oh my God, turn it off because it's not that bad. But 
I just love this new, um, you know, scrapped snippet way better than the Big Barbie song. So, what is your opinion down below? We can discuss this down below. Let me know your let me know, let me know, let me know. Let's move on to this next topic. All right, y'all, moving on. Um, it seems like 6ix9ine has been arrested. Yeah, he's been arrested um, for, you know, some crimes he had committed. All right. 6ix9ine was arrested in the DR for jumping producers who were occupying the music studio with his GF, his girlfriend, okay? Um, honestly, I feel like 6ix9ine, he, he should have been in somebody's cell. I mean, I know he was locked away already. I know that. But I'm saying, like, he just give me just, like, uh-uh, I just can't. I can't bear with his antics anymore. Um, so we're going to see how this plays out. You know, he got jumped at the gym um, at LA Fitness that <laughs> a couple months ago. So I guess that didn't humble him at all. But we're going we gonna to see. We're going to see how this stuff play out. Let's move on to this next topic. All right, y'all. Chloe, she has some Grammy submissions for her new album um, and pieces, okay? Now, as you all may or may not know, Chloe's album flopped real bad. I mean, flopped 10,000 units first week. It was just embarrassing, okay? But here's the thing, though. She has some submissions for the Grammys. Now, in pieces, the album is now, is submitted. Um, her song, How Does It Feel, with Chris Brown, um, and Pray It Away. Only three songs off her new album. Fuck that. Only two songs off her new album. That is not, no, Okay. I feel like her team snubbed her, okay? They could have submitted a few more songs, okay? I think they could have did just a few more. You know, I think the album is actually Grammy worthy. You know, it just doesn't have that mass appeal, okay? And some songs on the Grammys don't have that mass appeal and they still be getting Grammys. And I think Chloe needs a Grammy, you know, just to make herself feel good about her career, all right? You know, I think right now she feel like shit about her career. She's probably sad. Oh my God, my music is flopping. Yeah, get this girl a Grammy and make herself, you know, be a little more happier, okay, about her career. Cause you can tell like her confidence in her music has gone down really badly. Like she's just, I don't know. It's just everything she puts out, y'all in the comment section saying this is trash, this is bad. And it's just, she's not as excited publicly anymore about her music in my opinion i just don't think that she is so let's give my sister a grammy okay and yeah let's just do it for the culture all right let's move on to this next topic uh um, cardi b is getting a lot of backlash online because she was out here smoking a cigarette okay that has people in shambles all right now in my opinion i think that why are so many of y'all in shambles over her smoking a cigarette i just don't think it's that serious okay what we really need to talk about is her getting them girls set up in the club to get beat up, okay? You sending grown men to go beat up some girls, okay? Let's go ahead and talk about that. Less people are, were talking about that than her smoking a cigarette. I mean, y'all, people were going crazy over her smoking a cigarette. I don't, th I don't think it's that serious, okay? If you want to go smoke a cigarette, it's fine. Go ahead. It's better than doing crack. It's better than, you know, sniffing and doing all different things, okay? I get it. But y'all don't want to talk about what she really did. Would she really be doing behind the scenes? Oh, okay. Okay, I, see. I just see how y'all are. It's okay, it's fine. All right, all right, all right, y'all. Moving on. It seems like Megan Thee Stallion is making her comeback to music, okay? Um, as of recently on Instagram, she posted some pictures with some snakes and, you know, this really interesting aesthetic. Um, and she was talking about how she's doing act one of whatever she's doing. Um, she's making a comeback to music. Now, in my opinion, um... Okay, I can see this for her. A nice little comeback. She definitely needs to come back. Her fans miss her. Um, the hotties do miss her. Um, and she's saying that this time around, she's going to be independent, okay? She has no label. And she's saying that everything that she's put into this, these upcoming projects are all funded by Megan Thee Stallion herself, okay? Now, in my opinion, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, this is a great thing, okay? Um, I'm glad she left that damn sorry-ass label, all right? She was wasting her time. For real. They were holding her back and they were not in her best interest. Um, and she hopefully is doing a rebrand, okay? Um, she can't come back with no damn sorry ass music, okay? Because you know, Traumazine flopped real bad. It just did not do that good. Um, so hopefully she comes back with a new sound and she uses her money wisely. Because you know, everything she's doing now, you know, she don't have no promo, she don't have no radio deal, she don't have none of that. It's just her, okay? And um, you gonna have to. It ain't. <laughs> it ain't enough hotties in the world to you know bring her a number one album or a number one single. Okay, so we are gonna see how that goes. Um, but yeah, 
but I am glad that she's going to be pushing through with this music stuff. Um, you know, and she has the guts and she has the balls to get up and make music and put it out herself and invest her coins into the next project. OK, but I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't perform well. But let's be real here. You don't have a big budget for anything. So we're going to see how it goes, y'all. We're going to see how this shit go. This is going to be interesting to see. OK, we're going to see. Can she, you know, maintain a career all by herself? All right. Can she maintain these projects alone? We're going to see. We're going to see. OK. But yes, y'all, I think she needs to go ahead and sign to Beyonce's label and just call it a day. You know, she already got her head up Beyonce's ass up on tour lot with her. So it's cool. But yes, y'all, what do y'all think about that? Let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. We can discuss this down below. Yes, I will see you on the next one. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, be safe.